Okay. Um, you, you, you talked a little, I asked you what are the mm -hmm. first five things you'd want to do uh, as mayor, but what, what do you think would be the biggest challenge uh, to a Hughes administration in, in achieving its goals? Um, you know, it is going to be a dramatically different way of governing. Okay. Um, and we have one of the things that I've, I've noticed is um, Fort Wayne has somehow slipped into this era when um, we, we're looking for government to tell us what's going to be successful. Um, I've watched how this has happened. I mean, the differences between what's happening with the Harrison and with the Anthony Wayne building is a very stark example to me, mm -hmm. um, where government has, has tried, the planning department has tried to dictate what would happen in certain areas, and it's not succeeding, but there's a little bit of a expectation that government's gonna fund things. Mm -hmm. But if you contrast that with Anthony Wayne building, which does not have the public sector involvement, right. and you know they own the building, they bought it, they're gonna make the changes as the market demands it. Um, I think the challenge is reintroducing people to the idea that when the private sector Succeeds when the private sector leads a project. That's what's going to be long-term successful. Okay. Pulling government back <coughs> a little bit, I think, is going to be the challenge because, unfortunately, we have come to be a community that has an expectation of of government funding as a part of the recipe for success, and I don't believe that it is. I think government needs to kind of set the table and then back away, mm -hmm. and then let projects rise and fall on their own merit. Because if you need government funding to make a project successful then long term it's not going to be sustainable. Okay. Well, how does the government set the table? Well, I've talked about this with Riverside development. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the city owns 90% of the ground adjacent to the rivers in downtown. Yeah. And currently, you know, we have, we have two projects that are um, moderately successful. The Hall family has the deck, mm -hmm. and uh, another branch of the Hall family has the Fort Wayne Outfitters with the bike and yeah. kayak depot. And those both um, are kind of, well, the, the depot particularly is, is kind of hidden away and they've struggled to be able to access the rivers. Right. And they've also struggled with the, the city has, the city controls the water level in the rivers with the dam system. Mm -hmm. And they've had, they've been in business, this is their fourth year in business. They've had two good years and two bad years and it's tied directly to the water level in the river. So huh. you set the table by doing the, the basic things. You make, make the river accessible to people. You clear the ground along the banks. Mm -hmm. You make the water level consistent. And, and then you let the private sector step in. If there's a business opportunity, somebody's going to go after it. Okay. If it's truly viable. That's, okay. that's how you do it. Okay.